get a chance to establish myself before Saigon. I was singing in the lounges and uh, I was just starting a solo career. I was only, what, singing for about six months pa lang. when it comes to stage. Isai Alvarez, who've had years of experience in the music industry, Janine was just starting out. Was it scary for you? I mean, here, here you were, just six months into the singing career. Uh, I'm eh. <laughs> so Now, thanks to the West End, a new, more experienced, and more musically mature Janine has come home. I could have stayed longer, but I felt also after four years of doing Miss Saigon, I wasn't growing anymore. There wasn't, um, there wasn't room for more growth. Parang I've done everything I could do with the part, with the show, having done all the parts in the show. So I felt I was stagnating there somehow. Although I wasn't tired of doing Kim, it's just that I thought it was time to do other things and try other things, mm -hmm. which I wasn't able to do before Miss Saigon. widened my um, horizon, <laughs> yeah, vocal range. my vocal range yeah. and versatility, style-wise, and daming, okay. and daming, daming benefits, and daming kung na learn from Saigon, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I can never thank Cameron and of course the Lord up there for making me part of it, because it's just so much. It's done so much for me as a person, as an yeah. artist. Did you ever expect this would happen to you? No. In your wildest dreams, maybe? No. Never? Never. <laughs> well, I dreamt of singing here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. but nothing like Miss Saigon, nothing like that. I can always come back. I can always go back, rather, to London if I want to. Anytime now, I can. Um, and the work will always be there. The pay will always be there. <laughs> the reason why I'm here is just so I'll establish myself para naman when I come back, even if I leave to do something else internationally, the people won't say, sino ba yan? Diba? Parang the Filipinos are harder to please. <laughs> pa rin.